It's Wednesday, so you know what it is, what it do, what it is. I am the Grizz, and welcome back to Yesterday Today. This is the show where we bring you some of the biggest gaming news you may have missed from Yesterday Today. And I got some stuff to talk about, because would Konami lend the Castlevania license over to Sony Santa Monica? Because Sony Santa Monica is willing, ready and willing to make a game. Also, we got another look at AEW Fight Forever. And I got a lot of stuff. Happy Thanksgiving Eve. Let me hit you with some of that good news before you get some of that good food. Let's dig in. All right, so let's start off today with talking about PlayStation and some of the shovelware that gets on the PSN store. And basically, Sony said they're about to do away with that because the the, the people that tend to find a way to get an easy platinum, they tend to buy these shovelware games, right? Now, these shovelware games, they have released like their individual releases, but really it's just only one level. So if you buy one of these games for like two, three dollars, you can finish it in one sitting within an hour or two and you'd have a platinum trophy all the way play through. A lot of people do that. Well, Sony is getting ready to do away with it being duplicative, meaning they would take one game and then release it level by level as a whole game. And well, Sony is trying to get rid of that. And they released a letter and it's to VGC and it says, Sony Interactive Entertainment strives to ensure that customers can search and discover the full breadth of experience on PlayStation and that partners have a fair means of being discovered. When partners oversaturate or spam PlayStation Store with many variants of the same type of content, it can negatively, negatively impact both the customer and partner experience. Now, I can't really, I don't feel one way or the other about this type of stuff. I just know uh, a lot of people out there do like to get platinum. So I wanted to put this right early in the video so people can just do this and, you know, just know, get a quick heads up. You want to get 10, 15, 20 platinums before they take this stuff down. They haven't said when. You better get on top of it. Don't you think it would be time for a new Ninja Gaiden game or maybe a new Dead or Alive game? So recently, studio head of Koei Tecmo, Fumihiku Yatsuda, spoke to a Korean press website called Inven because G Star 2022 took place over in Korea and there was a mention of it was under a rebooted series you know something that they had sitting back and a lot of people heard about that and was wondering what's going on but after a while Koi Tecmo reached out to VGC and said Live and Ninja Gaiden are both long-standing pillar franchises for Team Ninja these celebrated titles are synonymous with our studio history and reputation. It goes without saying that when speaking about the development of our past and future projects, both of these important titles cannot be left without mention. However, there are no details or information to share on either of, the, of these franchises at this present time. Now, I was a pretty big Ninja Gaiden fan back in the day and even more excited when they re-released Ninja Gaiden only on the original Xbox and then they went ahead and re-released Ninja Gaiden Black. And then we got all these PlayStation versions, the Sigma versions and stuff like that. Well, I played all of those versions and I'd be actually really, really excited. The only Ninja Gaiden game that I didn't play was Yaiba Ninja Gaiden Z. Now, I have the game, but it's only backwards compatible on the Xbox 360 and I don't feel like taking that out. But what I'm saying is... is what if Platinum Games did Ninja Gaiden or something? I just want a new Ninja Gaiden. We got we recently got the Master Collection, and that's pretty good. I'm going to play that eventually. That's also on Game Pass. But what about Dead or Alive? Because Dead or Alive, was that even at EVO? Was that really, really a huge deal? I remember those being really quality games where you can go through multiple pieces of the stage, and some of the bosses were just really, really ridiculous and unbalanced, it seemed at times. And it was really, really fun fighting mechanics. And I would absolutely love to see either one or both of these games making a comeback completely new, completely skinned. I'm really excited. What about you though? Let me know down in the comments below. Hey, I'm always excited to talk about AEW Fight Forever, right? Well, the game isn't even out. There's been rumors about it being on Game Pass, and now it's very clear that CM Punk is not on the cover. On the left, you have the cover, the original cover, that is, and then the second cover, which is the brand new cover on the right, which was shown recently at AEW's pay-per-view over the weekend, AEW Full Gear, which was a pretty solid pay-per-view top to bottom, just a little too long, but... I see that now we have a brand new cover. It's even a different color, more along the lines of the Dynamite, uh, the AEW Dynamite, which comes on tonight at 8 p.m. You know, that's free promotion for me because I absolutely love AEW. But they, that's, this is very, very interesting because, 
AEW's pay-per-view full gear, which was great top to bottom. The shows are just really, really long, and I just hope that they can find a way to cut it down. But one thing I do hope is that this game, the game AEW Fight Forever, they keep giving us trailers and stuff like this, and it also looks more and more awesome every time. But you see, CM Punk is off the cover, and I don't even know if he's still in the game. I don't want to speculate. Maybe he is, maybe he isn't. But the thing is, I can't wait for this game to come out. I hope it's going to be on Game Pass. And they said there's a career mode, there's creation mode, there's just, it's just deep. And they got a ton of blood, a bunch of weapons. And then there, they even did a, a German suplex on Sting all the way on the apron. And I don't even know if they have any of that type of stuff in WWE games. But I'm really, really excited for this game if you want though let me know down in the comments below because this game looks great every time no release date yet though all right so let's talk a bit about castlevania but before i say that have you been playing god of war have y'all been playing god of war ragnarok y'all been enjoying it now imagine if that studio sony santa monica got their hands on the castlevania ip yes because they've shown interest in that and there is an article that well basically it was brought by VGC, but the director of the game went on the Kinda Funny Game spoiler cast and he said. So the game director on God of War Ragnarok, Eric Williams from Sony Santa Monica, was on the Kinda Funny spoiler cast, the game spoiler cast, I should say. And he was just like, yo, to the fans, make it happen. Y'all can make it happen. He said, you guys can make it happen because you have the audience of the world here. I don't know what I'm doing next, but if somebody gives me that Castlevania license, we would love to make that. So I'm really, really excited if they do that because they've shown interest. And I mean, let's just be real here. Konami isn't really doing anything with the IP besides licensing, licensing it out to Netflix and giving them a fly show. So why not just give us a show very close, excuse me, a game very close to the show with a great narrative. All right, so let's talk about Microsoft and Sony's fight over the Call of Duty franchise, right? So there's been a lot of back and forth, right? So they still have to, the, the acquisition has to still get approved in uh, another 15, 14 countries because only two, it only got approved in two in Saudi Arabia and Brazil. And while Sony is kind of trying to slow that down, Xbox has offered them a 10-year deal because Xbox just doesn't see them really just making an exclusive to Xbox. Uh, but they're going to make a lot from PlayStation while PlayStation kind of got to do the thing where they're just like, oh, this would be a monopoly or this would be a big issue. Call of Duty is such a big deal to the active market if you just put it all on Xbox and stuff like that. So there's just been a crazy, crazy back and forth. So there was an excerpt that was taken, uh, taken and put on uh, v uh, VGC because New York Times hidden behind a subscription. So I'm going to go over this uh, excerpt really quickly. So Xbox has so... So Xbox has offered Sony an, an extension of Call of Duty being on the platform, the PlayStation platform, for another 10 years. And they say that that deal, they, well, Sony never commented, but Microsoft said that deal took place on November 11th and they're still waiting for Sony. Sony's not going to comment. VGC had a nice little write-up on this whole back and forth. And uh, only Saudi Arabia and Brazil so far have approved it. There's about 14 more governments that need to approve everything. So there's still a lot of back and forth with, with basically with Microsoft saying, hey, Sony's just trying to deter y'all. And it's just just basically a necessary business back and forth. This is the this is the side, even the business side that's even in gaming, I guess, if you will, that, you know, we might not even like. We just want to hear about games and a debate about games and stuff like that. But this, unfortunately, is also the side that's there. All right, that is it for today. Thank y'all so much for watching. Let me know what you think about everything down in the comments below, whether it's a possible, maybe, Castlevania game made by Sony Santa Monica and that really excites me. Once again, are you excited about AEW Fight Forever? What do you think about the new cover? And what do you think about all of this back and forth with Xbox and PlayStation about basically just what's going to happen with Call of Duty? Honestly, everybody wins if Call of Duty just stays multi-platform. But it's definitely going to be on Game Pass and I really don't think that they can keep that from Game Pass, can they? So let me know what you think about all this down in the comments below. Please, if you have already go ahead and hit that like button if not if you dislike it 
Cool. Hit me down in the comments. Let's have a healthy conversation. If you are new here, hit that red subscribe button and make sure you hit the bell next to it so you can know when your boy is posting. I will be posting a little bit more. So get ready. This video is for Nito.